Singapore becomes the second ASEAN country to present the Mazda CX-60, will it enter Indonesia next? Japanese carmaker, Mazda, presented one of the large SUV CX-60, for the Singapore market recently. Just like other Mazda SUVs, the Mazda CX-60 is presented with a large, dashing design, but does not leave the impression of elegance that has become the hallmark of the manufacturer. This is evidenced by Mazda's signature grille shape which gives a strong impression with the same LED light configuration as its sibling, the CX-90. Equipped with 20-inch rims covered with 235 50ths tires, the CX-60 is ready to run anywhere and anytime. Another interesting thing is also in the interior. Reported on the Pultan page, Monday, July 24, 2023, to increase customer convenience, the Mazda CX-60 comes with a panoramic sunroof feature, a 12.3-inch digital cluster display, a head-up display, and a 12.3-inch infotainment screen that has been integrated with Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. In order to increase the sense of security for both driving and passengers, this three-row SUV is equipped with parking sensor features on the front and rear, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, blind spot monitor, cross-traffic alert, 360-degree camera, autonomous emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and seven airbags. Unlike the Philippines, which is presented with two variants, namely gasoline and diesel, Singapore only provides a single variant for the CX-60. Equipped with a Skyactiv-G 2.5-liter naturally aspirated four-cylinder petrol engine, the CX-60 can issue up to 189 horsepower and 261 newton-meters of torque. The heart of the pacemaker will work together with an eight-speed transmission system. The CX-60 will be Mazda's first model based on the Skyactiv multi-solution scalable architecture platform with an elongated front engine and rear-wheel drive. For the Singapore market, the CX-60 premium car is priced at 278,888 Singapore dollars or around 3.1 billion Indonesian rupees. This price is of course very expensive when considering that the vehicle tax applied in Singapore is quite high. As a comparison, the CX-60 is sold in Australia starting at 59,800 US dollars or the equivalent of 605.7 million Indonesian rupees. Singapore is the second country in ASEAN to present the CX-60 after the Philippines, however, what about Indonesia? Some time ago, PT Eurocars Motor Indonesia, EMI, as the brand holder agent, APM, 
of Mazda in Indonesia, said that they would soon present a product in the form of an SUV which would be launched at the end of July. So strong.